Hi, Stephen Caleb with Brownells, and we're back with another exciting edition of Smithbusters. And today, Caleb, it is AR related, so that means it's got to be good. It's got to be. It's got to be good. It's got to be controversial, and it's got to be something everybody already knows because everyone's already an expert. Ooh, that's AR even better. That's um, even better. So we're just kind of just talking about this to each other. We're not even teaching anyone because everyone already knows. No, I'm kidding. I'm I'm ranting now. Um, I'm not molding. I don't know the definition of molding. Fun fact. Um, today's video, Steve, is user requested. Uh huh. So if you remember, we were doing the uh, the common AR builder mistake videos. Uh, someone asked a question, and I thought it'd be good for Smithbuster. So here we are. Uh, so this one goes to letting the hammer drop or pulling the trigger and you know letting the hammer fall. On an empty chamber, not only that, but the upper not even on the gun. Oh. So, oh. yeah. Allow me, allow me to demonstrate for, for, uh, for the viewers there with, a, with our cutaway here. All right. So now there's no firing pin to break the, there's, there's break nothing the force there. of the trigger. So if you know, there's a little bit of wear on the front of this receiver from, from doing it before. So what happens is the hammer is smacking the bolt catch and the bolt catch is moving forward then the then it's transferring to the receiver so you're you're getting like a little two for one deal there. Okay. So you you're possibly damaging two things. Oh, nice. And the whole thing with this, you know, I I've, and this isn't the first time I've heard it whenever we got that request. Um, people are saying, you know, you will you'll your parts will break, you'll snap your hammer in half, you'll break your bolt catch. You'll crack your receiver. Um, I've heard all of those things. If you were in the military ever somewhat recently, like didn't even have to be that recent, whenever you start to do firearm maintenance, you'll hear every private ever take their gun apart. The first thing they do to start cleaning their gun is this. And then they, they start cleaning it, right? Right. Do you do, do, you do that in the Army, Steve? Uh, no, uh, all we had to do was take the ramrod out before we shot the gun. That was the big rule. Steve is very, very, very old. Uh, so it was either like civ Civil War, Revolutionary War? Something. It's so long I can't even remember. So, both. It was, it was both. Um, yeah, but no, in all seriousness, um, yeah, so that's, that's the whole thing there. So like the mil spec parts, people do it all the time. Literally hundreds of like probably hundreds of thousands of times throughout the life of yep. that firearm. And those parts never break, or I've never seen any break. Uh, I'm sure there's some in an arms room somewhere that, that broke because of that, possibly. So in regards to the mil spec components, people will argue that because they're mil spec parts, like mil specs made by the lowest bidder, right? If those are, if I can do it with those parts, I should be able to do it with anything. And uh, Steve, what, what do we know about mil spec components? Well, they have to meet a certain government standard. Right. The government inspectors are right there to make sure that happens. So it is the lowest bidder that met the standard, right? Which is a very small fraction of your current AR-15 parts market. Believe it or not, that's a fun fact, okay? Mm. Uh, there's a lot, all those cheap part, lower part kits you're getting out there, um, spoiler alert, those are not as good as the larger name brand parts kits you're getting, all right? Uh, they're not all made from the same place. There's not like four forges, bro. That's a whole nother thing. Um, not all lower part kits are equal. So the mil spec part kit will take a little bit more abuse. Right. Uh, if you snap a hammer in half, it's not a mil spec hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Chances are it's a, it is. It most certainly was not a mil spec hammer. So uh, with that being said, is it bad practice to let the hammer fall? Uh, yeah, it is. And you know, this is, so I'll, I'll demonstrate the same thing. This is my personal gun, right? This is a Sons of Liberty Gunworks forward control designs lower. Uh, this is a Geisley SSA EX lightning bow trigger. And then a forward control design bolt catch. I would say all pretty good components. I would um, say. I would say all these components here ex greatly exceed that, uh, that, that mil spec requirement. And uh, I'll just... I'll just do it. I'll do it, Steve. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Oh, shit, Steve. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing happened. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's 
bad practice, sure, but as long as you have good components, I wouldn't worry about it. If you didn't, you're like, oh no, maybe I need to replace my parts. Uh, and I mean, I wouldn't worry about it. It's no worse than releasing your 1911 slide on an empty chamber. Oh, and you know how people feel about that. Yeah. There's a whole, there's this whole video. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Some people out there will get in your face and they will say, don't drop the slide on an empty chamber on any firearm. No. And uh, I mean, I, I do it all the time. Um, it, it's probably fine in most cases. So do we agree that uh, dropping the hammer on quality components is not gonna make or break your, uh, your AR? We agree that it's not gonna make or break it. However, I think we should also agree that it's bad practice. Right. That's probably why there's so much debate about it. Probably, yeah. Avoid it if you can, is what, you know, that's what I say. Don't go out of your way to do it. Well, good, good. Well, how do you feel about it? Let us know in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button. If you're watching us on the website, give us a call on the tech line if you have a question. We'll be happy to help you out. In the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another exciting edition of Smithbusters.